Well, it is an exciting event in Cold Lake this weekend, gearing up for the Cold Lake Air Show. Joined by Major Kale Rennie. Thank you for joining us today. Yeah, no problem. I'm uh, already set up in the uh, command post on the airfield. So if you hear some jet noise behind me, that's uh, everybody getting ready for the exciting Cold Lake Air Show this weekend. Well, let's talk about how things kick off on Friday with this special festival that's happening. Tell me what's planned for that. Yeah, so on Friday, actually, uh, in the morning will be final preparations on the airfield. Uh, and we will be doing a rehearsal for all the performers. They always do a rehearsal on Friday to, to uh, make sure that they're good to go for the weekend and uh, get situated in a new location such as Cold Lake. And then the city of Cold Lake is going to be thrown on the uh, Full Throttle Street Festival. It's a free event on uh, Main Street Cold Lake. There'll be children's activities, lots of uh, stuff to see and do on Main Street. And then they're going to have uh, some live band performances and uh, beer garden. And at uh, 8 o'clock at night, it'll be a Conaline Crush, the headline act. So all free on Main Street Cold Lake. And then the exciting part on Saturday, Sunday, with you got static displays, you have performers, there's so much going on. Can you kind of give me, I guess, the Coles Notes version of uh, the plans for Saturday, Sunday? Yeah, we have a great uh, lineup uh, for you. Uh, you know, it's been four years since we've been able to do an air show here in Cold Lake due to uh, the COVID pandemic, canceling the 2020 show. So we're excited. We're ready to go. Um, lots to see and do in the sky and on the ground. So uh, the gates uh, open at nine o'clock. Uh, you have about three hours to take in a lot of the static aircraft. We have huge American transport planes that you'll be able to walk up and inside and take a look around. And then at 12 o'clock, the flying will kick off with the Skyhawks jumping into o Canada. And uh, we've got a good combination of uh, both Canadian and uh, U.S. Air Force assets to excite you, including the, uh, the amazing F-22 Raptor. If you haven't seen it, it's the most advanced uh, fighter aircraft in the world. It can do things in the sky that you will have never seen other aircraft do. So... Uh, to me, the F-22 alone is worth the price of admission, but uh, you get that plus all more if you come to the Cold Lake Air Show this weekend. Now, it does look like it's going to be a fairly warm weekend. Uh, what are it some does. things that you should advise people who are attending the show, especially if they're doing an all-day show, some precautions yep. maybe that they should be taking and, and things they should be thinking about when coming to a show? Because it is really hot on that tarmac. It, it absolutely is. I'm, uh, we're obviously monitoring the weather here. So if you go onto our website, uh, coldlakeairshow.com, we have a frequently asked questions page that answers uh, all those type of administrative questions of what you can bring in the show and stuff. But uh, yeah, it's going to be hot. So bring a refillable water bottle. We have uh, two water stations for free water. Uh, bring your sunscreen, bring some bug spray just in case the bugs are out. Uh, but yeah, it's, uh, it's going to be hot, uh, but hopefully good weather on both days. The show is uh, set up to go rain or shine. And whatever we can put up on the air, that's what we'll do. But there's plenty to see on the ground as well. Well, I noticed on your social media that you posted that you also have a special guest attending, uh, Maverick, it looks like, from, from <laughs> Top Gun. Uh, will he be uh, at the show as well as the festival? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we got a lot of hits on our social media uh, called California Cruise. He's a, uh, he's a Top Gun, Tom Cruise impersonator. Uh, he was ranked actually the number one attraction at the Portland Air Show about a month ago. Uh, it's quite funny. Check out our social media page. You'll get a good laugh. But yes, he's arriving on Thursday and uh, he will be downtown on Friday at the full throttle. And then he'll be walking the air show ground Saturday and Sunday. He's very engaging, very dynamic. Uh, it's actually quite funny. Uh, we think he'll be a real hit with the crowd. Uh, is there anything else that people should know when coming to the show? I mean, obviously you direct them to the website, but uh, you know, if this is the first time attending a show, obviously it's loud. So if you have some kids coming with you, especially yeah. younger kids, um, maybe some precautions that should be taken that way as well. Yeah, for sure. You can, uh, there'll be earplugs. Uh, you know, if you have earplugs, I'd bring them or ear defenders. Um, but uh, yeah, young kids, we have a kid zone for the kids to get out of the sun so they can, uh, it's in one of the hangars. Uh, there'll be some bouncy castles and stuff and a car show. So, you know, if the kids are uh, getting a little bit too much sun, you can always bring them over to the other side. And is it too late to purchase VIP tickets? Are those all uh, spoken for? Uh, yeah, unfortunately, we had to uh, cut off VIP just due to numbers for the caterer. But uh, we're about 17,000 tickets sold already. So uh, Saturday is going to be busy. I would say anyone in the in the local area, Sunday's your better, better shot for less lines and stuff. But uh, yeah, Saturday is always the busier day just because of the outer crowd. Uh, out of town uh, crowd that comes up from uh, outside Cold Lake and the Lakeland. All right. Well, we're wishing you very much luck with the show. And one more time, can you give us the place to go for people to find all the information they need? Absolutely. Check out our website and social media, coldlakeairshow.com. Hopefully, we'll see you out here this weekend. It's going to be great weather. Great to be over COVID. And uh, let's have some fun. 
All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us and we wish you luck. It's going to be an exciting weekend. I can't wait to take in everything that this show has to offer. It's always an amazing show. So congratulations on a you know, successful event. There's a lot of work that goes on behind the scenes that I don't think people know. So congratulations to you and all your volunteers as well. Yeah, no, thank you very much. Two years in the planning and uh, we're excited.